Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley and I'm back at you with another video. requested I am going to be doing my grocery shopping haul today um, a lot of you guys saw me post on snapchat and Instagram story a while back about my groceries um, and I honestly haven't been home so I haven't done grocery shopping in about a month and a half but here we are today my hair's a mess my makeup's a mess but we don't care I'm gonna try to do this like really fast because it's been a minute and honestly my groceries are melting so, so recently um, I talked to a lot of my friends and a lot of girls that I know and they've been having a lot of problems with their skin and they said the minute that they stopped eating like cheese and dairy products, their skin cleared up um, and their hormones balanced out. Now, for a little bit I was eating a lot of red meats like pork and beef and like for so long I swore off of it because I just was like, no, like it's not healthy for me. Um, and I found when I was eating that stuff, my depression and anxiety levels were way up and I was just like in a slum. Um, so. I cut out all red meats and pork again, so I'm only eating fish and chicken. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to try doing dairy free. Um, now I love cheese, so this will be very hard. So let's get into it. Obviously, because it's this time of year, I have the pumpkin cookies. I fucking love cookies, you guys. Like, cookies are my favorite baked good item ever. I love cookies. So I'm gonna make those tonight. And then also picked up the marinated portions tilapia. I love these. These are amazing. They're um, individually packaged pieces of fish. So I like get the tilapia, cod, and salmon ones, but I ran out of tilapia ones. And these I really like because the flavor is actually really good, but it's not overpowering. So if you wanted to add garlic or put in sesame oil like I normally do, it just enhances the flavor and you can actually make it kind of your own. Um, it's really, really good as far as calories go. Um, on top of that, I picked up Three Quest Bars. These are my favorite Quest Bars. These are the cookies and cream Quest Bars. I love, 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 love Quest Bars. And I really like Quest Bars because they're honestly super good for me after I work out. I tend to get a lot of, like, really shaky after I work out just because I am hypoglycemic. So my blood sugar does kind of drop or spike or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Whatever it does. Um, and it really makes me sick. And I love keeping those in my workout bag in my purse just in case I need something. Um, it definitely helps balance out my levels. Bag numero two. Oh. First things first, I get the Rise Kombucha in Blueberry Maple. I love carbonated drinks, but obviously pop is not very good, as I have ginger ale over there. But um, I love kombucha, and I really like this flavor. It's really sweet, so it's actually really good, um, and it tends to be the only flavor kombucha that I really like. On top of that, I have almond milk unsweetened original, and then almond milk soy chocolate. Okay. Now the reason I get both is because I love this chocolate milk when I'm just feeling like I just want something chocolatey, but I also like making these with smoothies. So this one I tend to use with my cookies and cream protein powder, and this one with chocolate protein powder, but I use this a lot to bake with. So any type of French toast, pancakes, anything like that, I always use this. I don't like the vanilla flavored one. I tend to feel like it's a little bit too like fake flavoring, I guess, and I really just don't like it. Um, I tried it a couple times, and I just like I can't. I just can't do it. On to bag numero three. So, I love peanut butter, as most people do. I love, love, love peanut butter. So I got the Smooth Light peanut butter. It's just a little bit lower in calories and carbs than the other one. Um, anything that's light, I always gravitate towards just because I'm always watching my calories and counting my macros. So, peanut butter. And then also got cherry tomatoes because I love tomatoes. I eat tomatoes with everything. Like, I'll just eat these with salt. Um, and I get the mixed kind because I actually really like the mixed over just like regular red cherry tomatoes. Um, so I got those. And then I got the potassium. <laughs> then I got the pistachio spray oil. So I got this instead of the, um, what's that word? Avocado spray oil just because the avocado one is a, quite a bit more in calories and fats and things like that which is yes good but I love avocado and I eat avocado almost every day 
So I don't necessarily need the extra fat that comes with the spray. So I decided to try this out and we'll see how that goes. On top of that, these are the two um, vegetarian and or vegan items that I get. It's the Eve's Veggie Pepperoni and then the Tofurky Treehouse Tempa Smoky Maple Bacon. So this is my first time trying this kind. Um, I really just have been craving like bacon or something with my breakfast and like just meats and I haven't really been having that so I'm going to try that out this week. Um, then I got the original goat cheese light. Um, I love goat cheese and for me cutting out dairy one of the biggest things that I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to have goat cheese instead of regular cheese just so that my cravings aren't as bad. I got the dried cranberry craisins. Um, I love putting these on salad and just having them as a snack. They are pretty high as far as carbs go, but they are like, they, I crave these and I love them on salad. Then I got the spicy sprouts. Um, these I love. I love using sprouts on pretty much anything. Burger, anything from burgers to omelets to literally just like a salad. I put sprouts in everything. I think they just give a lot of flavor and sprouts are actually really, really, really good for your health. So I got all of that. I also make a lot of smoothies because smoothies are just amazing and who doesn't love smoothie? So I got the fruit essentials. I got tropical fruit with coconut. So this is mango, pineapple, and coconut. I got the cold strawberries. I don't know, I just can't full strawberries and then I also got the jungle berry berry mix. Um, I love love smoothies and I love berries. This I use for making a compote and strawberries. I just really like strawberries so sometimes I just put that into like put that into like a pancake or like a french toast or anything like that and I like strawberries the best so I got those and then I got the cracker berry crackle crackle berry. Got the crackle, cracker, barrel, third time's charm, part skin, mozzarella. I always make pita pizza because I love pizza, but girl, no, you can't have pizza all the damn time. So I make that, that's a little bit healthier than a regular pizza, and it satisfies my crew. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And it satisfies, satisfies. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that wrong. It helps me with my cravings for pizza. Um, I still crave pizza every day though. The next thing that I have in here is I have the delicious gluten-free seeds and grains loaf. I love this bread. This bread is, um, oh my god, it's so good. This for like an avocado toast is amazing. And then just got some more Tetley green tea. I drink green tea every morning. It's just a really good digestive aid and as well, it's really good for your skin. Um, and then it also has caffeine in it. So I choose this over coffee a lot of times. I still love coffee, but I try to drink coffee very, like, very minimally. I then have mushrooms, white organic sliced mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I put mushrooms on literally everything. Um, so I love mushrooms. I love the texture of them, the flavor of them. You can do so much with them too. You can saute them for apple. Just so good, just so good. The next thing that I got is I got the chip cut zucchini. Um, they didn't have the zucchini noodles that I normally like, but these will be just as good for a pasta. I have a homemade pasta sauce that's made out of black beans, um, and it is honestly one of my favorite things in the entire world. So this with um, some zucchini noodles. And then I also have ground tempa, so I'm gonna try that um, as like an alternative for spaghetti and meatball. And then in my last bag, I just have um, my shampoo and conditioner, which is just the Aveeno Pure Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner. This is sulfate free. I do have tape and extensions, so I have to be careful of that. And last but not least, this is a little bit of my guilty pleasure. I told you guys I love pop, and I generally do. Canada Dry and Diet Canada Dry. I love ginger ale so much, but um, this is the only way that I will allow myself to drink it is if I get diet. So yeah, um, so that's a little bit of what I get when I go grocery shopping. Now I do have a lot of groceries still left over and I do have a lot of food still left over from the last time I went grocery shopping just because I haven't really been home. Um, and that's just like frozen fruit, frozen vegetables and everything like that. For me, like one of my biggest like life hacks, I guess, is to have frozen vegetables and frozen fruit. They don't go bad for months and for me it's the best way to get green beans, broccoli, spinach, things like that, that you don't necessarily need fresh um, to throw into omelets and everything like that. So I always have frozen fruit, frozen vegetables in my fridge and it always lasts me. And then by the time that I need to get new ones uh, or by the time it expires, I have already had to get a new bag of new ones because I eat them so much. So 
Um, as you can see with my diet though, I am pretty strict on my diet and my diet is a lot of just vegetables and um, a, a very little protein. I love eggs so I eat a lot of eggs um, and I also really like salmon and tilapia and also like I really honestly love tofu so I am lucky that way and I do really like eating salads but for me if I did this a year ago my grocery shopping would not look like this. Now with that being said, I do understand with um, you know this kind of grocery shopping, it's not cheap. Eating really, really healthy is not cheap. Eating organically is not cheap and I completely understand that. But for me, this is what works and I just wanted to show you guys what I eat and what I get for grocery shopping um, when I'm home. I don't really go grocery shopping more than once, twice a month. So this will last me probably a good like three or four weeks until I go back to New York and yeah. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you really like this video. If you don't, give a thumbs down and that'll be dope too. Negativity just, you know, helps motivate me a little bit more. Um, and then on top of that, if you guys want to subscribe and see more videos, make sure to subscribe. I don't know if the button's down here or up here. I don't know where it is anymore. Um, make sure to subscribe. All of my social media links will be down below, so check those out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't do this without you. And if you guys have any comments, questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you.